Hey, flush the drugs! Yeah, now? Maybe a, save a little bit. Today we're not talking about my drug enterprise, instead we're talking about lights. These lights, the Cam TV Andromeda LED lights, these guys right here we've been using a lot lately, like in our Game of Thrones episode we did a few weeks back, the DIY war scene we did last week, and pretty much everything else that we've shot over the last two months. And as with all the gear that we take a look at on the show, I really dig it. Some of you have asked why we never dislike the gear that we show, and that's because if I don't like it, I just don't show it. It'd be a waste of my time, your time, everybody's time involved. So if we spotlight gear, it's because we actually love it. But before we get into it, Josh has some news for you. Sup, assheads? This just in. Breaking news. Tryinstore.com has a sale going on right now through the 30th. We have our end of spring sale. We're talking up to 60% off all our products. We're talking filmmaker goodness. And for today only, the 25th, you can get 30% off our brand new packs like our new glitch pack, our ink chamber effects, and our new fantasy LUT pack. This is insane. So go to tryinstore.com, get you some filmmaker goodness, save you some money, love you somebody, and good night and good luck. Thanks, Josh. Let's jump in. These Cam TV Andromeda LED lights come in different sizes from one foot up to four foot in daylight, bicolor, and RGB DT versions. But what we have here is the four foot RGB version. And for me lately, pretty much all that I wanna work with are RGB lights. Not having to stop, grab different gels, rig those on to the light, decide that I don't like it, take them off, get something else, and so on. It's, it's just the best. With RGB lights like the Andromeda, you can just shift through whatever color that you want, testing different looks with just a spin of a knob. It's a whole lot faster and a lot less frustrating, especially when you're doing one man band type stuff like we usually are. But let's go back to the start right out of the box. It comes with a carrying bag, the actual light itself, obviously, barn doors, the controller, and of course the power. And something useful here is that the Andromeda powers off of Sony batteries, DTAP, or the wall adapter, so whatever your flavor. And we've been using the Sony batteries a lot. It seems to go for about two hours before we have to change it out. For mounting, you have several quarter inch threads on the back here and one on the side, so plenty of options for rigging. And of course, you have this mounting bracket, which has one of the only negatives that I found with this system. The two screws on here on the bracket do loosen up a bit over time. Once we tighten them back up, it's good to go again, but there is that. And of course the barn doors are very helpful for controlling light, opening it up and dropping it all the way down to get that small strip if you want. I've also found this pretty useful when helping to prop the light up in different places, like in our Hellboy sketch. I had the light on Josh's desk to simulate sort of that monitor light look on him and was able to prop it how I wanted because I was adjusting those barn doors. You can also take the barn doors off completely, which obviously looks like a lightsaber, but this is great if you want to put the lights in the shot and build out your scene with these in the actual frame as sort of a practical, which you see things like this all the time in music videos. Uh, don't wanna catch me on a bad day. Cause when it's war time, I ain't coming last place. This ain't the vibe you want. How much time you want for what? Boom, now your time is done. If you touch what is mine, then it's serious. Now you wanna flow up delirious. I'll be the bad guy. Make sure the fam's right, winning like a Floyd fight, Migos with the fight night. Why'd we make that? I don't know. The light is nice and bright, but it can also dim all the way down to 1%, which is always very nice to have, and the quality of the light is great. Since it's a strip, you get a nice soft look from the light even without any diffusion. And you have the option with that bracket to connect a few together to create a two, three, or four bank light, giving you even more output and an even softer source since you're increasing the size of that source. And that brings me to one of my favorite things about these lights, which is the ability to control as many lights as you want all at once. You can use their app through Wi-Fi to control the lights or the LED commander, which you can buy separately for 65 bucks. And you can control up to eight different groups here, but inside of each of those groups, you can have as many lights as you want, which is very useful if you have effects that you're trying to sync up across several lights. And there are different effects to choose from. Hey, like, uh, before you get into effects, can I talk to you in the hall for a second? It won't be long. 
What'd you do? Oh, so glad you showed up! You finally did something I asked you to do! Online getting a domain from Domain.com, which they have all your website needs, like .net and .com? You done? Yeah, all set. Okay. So you have effects on here like disco show, lightning, TV show, candlelight, bonfire, police lights, and a bunch of color wash options shifting stylistically between colors. My favorite effect though is definitely the police lights. This is by far the best cop light replicating effect I have used so far, really convincing. And since I have several of these, I can have a lot of them going at once to cover a pretty large amount of space and it just looks so solid. Then if we go back to the strobe effect, you can select any color you want to work with the strobe, just set the color that you want, come down here to frequency, and then you can change the speed that works for you as well. And there you go, you can create all kinds of effects with something like this, especially within the sci-fi or horror genre. Of course, my brain immediately goes to turning this red and making our own alarm lights. So overall, I'm really digging these lights and have found myself reaching for them more than not over the past few months. That Kino tube type shape of light has always been a favorite of mine, and adding RGB into the mix just makes it that much more Lovely. So you have great quality of light, the ability to connect a bunch of them together. You can sync several together for effects or just standard control and then use them stylistically inside of the frame itself. It's definitely a great addition to my light kit. So big thank you to Cam TV for sending these lights over and partnering with us for this episode. If you want to check them out for yourself, make sure to check the links in the notes below. And there's another amazing competition, this time with Lacy. I am involved in this one as well. I'm a judge for this one. And this is the 60 second action scene challenge. You create and submit a 60 second action scene and you have the chance at winning a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, which is the camera that I've been gushing all over lately, plus a Mavic 2 Pro and a ton of other prizes. I think it's about $10,000 worth of prizes. So definitely check out the links for that in the notes below as well. And until next time, don't forget to write, shoot, edit, repeat. Uh, don't wanna catch me on a bad day. Cause when it's war time, I ain't coming last place. This ain't the vibe you want. How much time you want for what? Boom, now your time is done. If you touch what is mine, then it's serious. Now you wanna flow all delirious. I'll be the bad guy just to make sure the fam's right. Winning like a Floyd fight, Migos with the fight night.